The principle of cycles means that nothing is ever permanent, both the good and the bad. And we can look at this and we understand that when we look at the external world, the environment, seasons. There are periods where things are really not going well in our lives, periods where things are going quite very well. And we oftentimes wish and that we could stay in a state of bliss or happiness for, you know, forever. But the reality is, is that that is not necessarily how life actually works. And the same is very much true in terms of what goes on in the, the physiology of our bodies. If you do consider that there are different activities, so we have hormonal fluctuations, we have changes in uh, turnover in our cell structures, we have changes with all of the different dynamics in our body where the cells are continuously turning over, let alone how those cells are needing to actually adapt to different circumstances that we maybe have going on in our life. For example, if we have a period in our life where we're really not taking good care of ourselves, uh, we're not exercising, we're not sleeping well, we are not taking good care of our diet, guess what? Those cells will adapt to those you know, pathological conditions. And it's a bit of a scenario that I often describe as you know, garbage in, garbage out. If a person's taking good care of themselves, okay, good, awesome. You expect that everything should be doing well. If, however, you are putting only bad stuff into the system, well, guess what? The only logical conclusion is actually that you're gonna get garbage on the other side. Your cells are gonna to adapt to those pathological conditions. And as a consequence, sickness, illness, disease of some kind is actually quite inevitable. Now, if that is the case, what it means is that our body then, it starts to cycle into that kind of a state as a part of the normal adaptation process. And then what we can do is we can say, all right, well, we're just gonna be you know, treating the, the symptom, why? Because I wanna go back to feeling good. I want to swing the pendulum back the other way to where I was feeling good, but I wanna do it without actually changing any of the underlying circumstances that are going on in my life at that time. And that, unfortunately, I have to tell people, is a fairy tale. You cannot expect for any reasonable length of time that you can actually defy the laws of nature, that you can continue to do bad things for yourself, and that you can expect to be well. So what's my point as it relates to cycles? Not unlike the, the swinging of a pendulum, where we say a pendulum that swings over this way, you're feeling pretty good. Pendulum swings over this way, not feeling very good. That pendulum, based on your life circumstances, is always gonna be swinging like this. Of course, we don't want either extreme. We don't wanna to be too wonderful because then we're always chasing something that may be but a moment in time. But in the same breath, we also should not be always trying to chase it just to make it good, good again when things do actually swing bad. Sometimes what we have to do, and this is sometimes the difference between um, intelligence and wisdom, and it is simply put recognizing that we do have these normal cycles that also occur in the body that do change based on our individual life circumstances. And it's only if we find ourselves locked into one of those states, creating imbalance over a period of time, that is gonna be leading to issues. And if we try to push or force things one way or another so that we can always be living a grand, wonderful, feeling well life. What we're actually doing is we're contributing to that imbalance in the first place, and it will inevitably show up in some way in our physiology, whether physically, chemically, or mentally, emotionally. We as human beings need to respect these normal cycles of life, also the cycles that do occur within our body and only if and when we might say, you know what, I'm doing all of the right things, I'm taking good care of my health, why am I not experiencing what I should expect to be? Why is the cycle not working? That then is the sign that something is actually interfering in that normal cycle process there, and that's what's keeping you, if you would, stuck. Now, I don't know what the solution per, um, per se is gonna be for every single person, because there are a variety of different things that could be involved. But certainly, if you find yourself where there is an imbalance in terms of the cyclic nature of the normal physiology of your body, sure by your sign that, okay, something is not quite right, and whatever you need to do, it needs to be different from what you're currently doing.